Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Esco, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps... And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is... Managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodom? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. 
decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? I'd prefer to play for pleasure. Can't get enough, can you? Whole castle heard you getting pleasured earlier. Got a one-track mind, Lambert. What are you, 12? His voice has started cracking. Haven't noticed? Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Let's play. Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the- Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. So, watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this present in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yokel fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah. As soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. The way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. I can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. Gotta say, I'm pretty warm. He's always been a wuss about the cold. Remember winter 15 years ago, when the snow stayed around until Bellatane? Mm-hmm. Lambert sat by the fire, wrapped in a blanket. Cost copiously every time it started to snow. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where do you dig up that bonnet? 
Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Eskel, Eskel, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. Alright. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, you oaf. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh? Where's Eskel? Shouldn't back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir! Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered. I wager. Come men to the rescue. Spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Esco! 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 Hey, <laughs> hear that? Sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. I think he, I think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no difference as I see it. I 
Let's go. Chop, chop. Hey, look. There he is. With his ever-faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert, you're a genius. Of course I am. So, we inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right, how's this work? Well, twist here, turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some f f f frippery. Ugh. We don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. Yes, perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking. Get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill blood de doigt. Hocus pocus, I break a dab brow, splatter. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! Wool paper, Excellency! Eh? No, you oaf! The lodge, the lodge has come for me! <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now.